Welcome to Ableton, where I will show you how to record and edit drums within. But first, I'll show you how they're set up. I'm not going to show you where to place your mics to get the sound you want. This video is more about working in Ableton, but I'll show you what we have. Snare top and bottom, two overheads, uh, one kick mic, mics on each tom, and then we have two room mics in here. It helps putting room mics somewhere else rather than in the room if you're in a really small room. So having them over there makes the drum sound a lot bigger. And then we have them all going into these. And then these go under the carpet, under the desk, and then into the backs of the Apollo X8P and Tube Opto 8. We have 10 mics on the kit, and the other mic is my talking mic. Okay, let's set up Ableton for recording drums. So before we set this up, you gotta make sure your inputs are enabled. So if I have 10 mics, if I go here, I only have two inputs available. So go to Live, Preferences, Input Config, and then turn all these on. And now, I see they're all available. So we have 10 mics. Let's make 10 audio tracks. And then let's highlight them all. Command G to group and name it drums. And we can name this kick, snare top. Snare top, top one, top two, top three, overhead left, overhead right, room, left, room right. And then you root the track to wherever your mic is plugged in. And actually, let's get rid of this and bring in my template, which already has everything that I need rooted and ready to go. And how you make that is you go to user library, templates, and you can drag the group you just made with all the routing in it, and even any processing, any plugins or anything, you can drag the group into here, name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna replace the one I have, overwrite, and there it is. One more thing before you start recording is you should link these tracks. So highlight them all and choose the link tracks. You'll have a little link icon here. And this just allows you to treat the drums as one track. So that makes it really easy to record. It makes it really easy to chop with Command E. You just click in at one spot and it chops every track. If you drag something, it drags every track. If you move it, it moves everything. Makes it very easy to edit because you just click, chop, and drag the audio, and it does it to every track. So let's record something. So here's what we just recorded, and I'm gonna record one more thing, slightly different, and show you how to use take lanes. So every time you record something, Ableton creates a hidden take lane that keeps track of all your takes. And you can, you can show the take lanes by right clicking, saying show take lanes. And now you can see our first take and our second take. And our second take is the one highlighted here because it's the, the take we're hearing when we play back. But if you want your first take without the extra snare stuff in the middle, you can press B and highlight the section you want and it will put it up into the main track. So this is what you will hear now. Here's take one and take two on the sides. Then play it back. So it looks like we chopped the snare a little bit here. We can either move take one back like that or, or have this take two here. And here we can move take two back. Don't want to chop off any transients or drums. For editing the drums on time, Ableton doesn't have anything like Beat Detective and Pro Tools, so we have to manually slip edit the drums on time, which is probably the best way to do it anyway. We're gonna move this kick onto the beat here, so I'll click just behind it, press Command E, and I'll press Shift Alt Command for Mac, Shift Alt Control for Windows, and just click the audio inside and drag it over. And now let's do the same thing for this kick. I'm gonna click behind it, cut, and then just move it over for the snare. Same thing, uh, this kick, 
could come this way. This like that. This one like that. Sometimes you get multiple hits that are a similar distance apart. You can just move them all. This one's ahead of the beat. You can move it back. So all the these three hits look pretty similar to how far they are from the grid. So I'm just going to highlight them and move all of them. And that is it. Nice. Once you think you're done editing your drums, you can consolidate them command J and I'm just gonna turn them up here a little bit so I can see the waveform better because I'm gonna line these overheads up to be in phase with each other and the snare so unlink them see where they are uh, this is this is cleaner looks like one was placed a little further away from the snare I'm gonna move that to be in phase with the the other side and then I'm gonna move both of them to be in phase with the snare can we hear that difference you can hear the snare get a little have a little bit more body before after and usually I move my rooms a little further on on time as well depends what you want for that I think closer is a little cleaner and further away makes them sound a little bigger all right hopefully that made sense if something didn't leave a question below and I'll answer it click this video Okay, bye.